Good morning. We are at the Dias Air Force Base FAM Camp in Abilene, Texas. And uh, we thought we'd take you on a quick tour. And when I mean quick tour, it's going to be a quick tour because there's not many spots here. So let's go check it out. As you pull in, here's the dump station. If you need just to do a dump. <laughs> yes, I'm a juvenile. All the spots are, as you can see, everything's concrete. There's plenty of grass though. This is our RV right here, obviously. Um, nice spot, not, not perfectly level, but not too bad, easy enough to fix. Um, there are some full timers here. Most of the full timers are in the back end spots, except this guy here with Tomator and Tomator's cousin um, are not. And that's where you can throw your trash away. Really nice little fam camp. It really is. And um, so, like I said, the majority of the spots here are pull throughs. As you can kind of see over here. Uh, they do have a tent camping area, but it is currently closed due to COVID. The tent camping area is right through there. Nice big open field. Here are the back end spots, which are now dedicated to full timers now when we were here in um november october november these were not matter of fact the full timers had the pull through spots and the temporary people got the back ends but shelly had a chance encounter with the uh, commander of the services squadron and they um made a change based on shelly's suggestion they mow the grass here it smells really good so here is the uh, bathhouse, wash house, and um, laundry facilities. All currently closed due to COVID. The doors open because the maintenance folks are here doing some stuff. But as you can see, not a big campground. Um, that's the hospital right there. So if you do have a medical emergency, you are right next to the hospital. Um, also here, off in the distance, where we're driving towards now is the archery range and behind and well behind that is also a paintball field now over here is the um storage lot and that building off in the distance right there that whitish looking building well that's the um outdoor rec that's where you go and pay for it if you're in an rv of any any size like bigger than a, a regular class c um you have to use the um the commercial gate and um, for entrance and if you are coming in after hours you need to make sure that and if you're coming in after hours you just need to um, call security forces and they'll come open it for you or if you're leaving at, after hours just call them and they'll open it for you and that's what we did when we were here last time uh, when we left and um, they met us at the gate we called before we left the a fam camp and they were there waiting on us when we got to the gate or we were waiting on them for like a minute it was it was pretty quick um but it's dais is a nice little base um it's really really hot here in july and this is our second time here nice fam camp highly highly recommend it um they do take reservations and of course you've already seen everything scrolled by about um costs and um, reservation policy and that kind of stuff we're going to head over to the exchange real quick but as you leave and check out all these static displays um this is this is heading from the main gate and heading into the base you got a lot of um airplanes out here it's also nice um running area as well um when i was here last time before my knee gave up the ghost uh, I ran I ran through here um, quite a bit weather permitting and it's it's really nice area to to run or just to walk there's a few places you can um, park a car out here but you know they have airplanes for days here so it's a really cool place so appreciate you guys looking at this now when we came to Dias this time in July we also um, when we first got here we actually stayed at another RV park because there was no for the first couple of nights because there was no availability here at Dias so now let's go head over to the whistle stop RV park in 
and check that place out. So we just got finished with the Dias Air Force Base Fam Camp um, walkthrough and review, and we're leaving the base to go. All, we were on our way to, we still are on our way to the Whistle Stop RV Resort to give you a quick review there. But we saw something right outside the gate that's kind of cool, and um, check it out. This is dedicated to the memory of all the men of the 12th Armored Division in World War II, Camp Barkley, 1943-1944. That's pretty cool. And um, we're actually going somewhere else before we hit whistle stop. Let's go. Extra double bonus. We're actually squeezing in another campground review into this video on a bumpy road. Right outside the main gate at Dias Air Force Base is the VFW, and this particular VFW has a campground. Let's check it out. These are full hookup spots, and it's paved, so it's hot. If you're lucky, like these guys, got a little bit of shade. This is a pretty nice little um, campground. Like I said, it's right outside the, uh, the main gate of Dias Air Force Base. Um, as you see the stats scrolling by about the number of sites, etc. The one big drawback to this particular campground is it is first come, first serve. And as you can see so far, it's full and it looks like it's pretty much occupied by folks who are not planning on leaving anytime soon. It is relatively inexpensive to stay here as the prices go scrolling by. Now here we've got just rocks. There be rocks. And there is one, so far, one empty spot. But even though a lot of these, or most of all of these, look like they've been here for a while, really clean, well maintained. Here's the bathhouse and stuff. And again, it's right next to the VFW as well. So, and of course, it's a dead end according to that sign. Turnaround. But it's a big turnaround here, obviously. So, if you need to, <clears throat> if you're having trouble, you know, getting your rig and pointing in the right direction, you can do it there. But so, if you need to come to Abilene, Texas, and you are, I, I think it's only for members. No, they have members and non-member rates. Excuse yeah. me. Um, they have members and non-member rate here. So, um, anybody can stay here. But that's it. So this is the VFW post 6873, as I'm reading it off the sign. Um, campground. Really nice looking. It is really nice looking. Um, I mean, like the other campgrounds we've seen or getting ready to see in this video, um, there's no shade, no grass. Um, if you want shade, there's a KOA here that offers shade. But you pay twice as much as you will at pretty much any of these other campgrounds we're looking at in this review. We are not going to the KOA um, this trip, <clears throat> maybe some other time. I wanted to take a minute. Um, we were across the street filming the VFW, and I just wanted to take a second to show you that they have the Dias Memorial Center Museum here. It is still open, even though it's COVID season. Um, it, it is running where you can go in. There are safety precautions put into place. You need to wear a mask. You know, you have to sanitize your hands going in. But they are open um, on weekdays, 9, 9.30 to 4.30. It's after that right now, so obviously it's closed. But we wanted to take a second just to stop by. They do have a really nice memorial park out here that I'm gonna show you. You can hear the chime of the flagpoles, and they have these really cool um, airplanes. We have reached the 
memorial spot here so I'm gonna turn it around and just show you what's here talks about Lieutenant Colonel William E. Dias which Dias Air Force Base is named after there is a flagpole and it looks like a fountain um, clearly not in use right now this is in memory of the crew and passengers of the KC-135 who died in a crash during takeoff at Dias Air Force Base on January 31st, 1989. Interesting, I did not know that. So it shows people who have had accidents or died here in when they were stationed here at Dias. Um, one is a B-47 that crashed at Camp Barkley, which is 11 miles south of Dias on November 4th, 1958. If you come out to Dias Air Force Base, this is definitely a stop you'll want to make um, to come and see this and just take a minute and pay respect to those that have fallen um, while in service. Just take a moment. Thanks. We are at the Whistle Stop RV Resort. Resort here in Abilene, Texas. And we are right outside the main grand entrance, and I say the main grand entrance, the only entrance. Check it out. Cool decorations. And they even have a sign. It says RV Park. So you know it's an RV park. So let's go um let's go on inside. Check it out. Just like at Dias, there is no shade. So here's the some of the sights. They have pull-throughs, they have back-ins, and they also have drive-ins. Nice level spots. All these spots look pretty level. There are some full-timers in here. Um, we didn't test the Wi-Fi here, so don't know how well the Wi-Fi works. And um, what else? Uh, as everything's scrolling by now, is number of sites and things like that. There's a link in the description below so you can um, check out the website what prices they have etc but pretty nice overall campground um, they do have a uh, pool pickleball um, volleyball that kind of stuff and of course all of it's closed they have a pet wash area we'll show you in just a second and a uh, little pet run area but even the full time is this just a really nice looking park very well maintained um, it is right on the um, the loop interstate loop so it doesn't really seem to be that noisy though and it's all gravel there's no cement pads all right here is the um really have no idea what this building is um laundry. oh bathhouse duh and it's laundry. the bathhouse and right in laundry right here is the pet waste station so and right over there is a wash station for your doggies for your pets so you that's really 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 nice um, here's the playground area we talked about of course closed due to covid and you got your pickleball over here and so here's the pool rumor has it the pool's open only 10 people in the pool though at any yeah, given time right only 10 people in the pool and if you're not in the pool you got to be wearing a mask you know so yeah that's pretty awesome um this is the clubhouse and i think this is a relatively new campground it certainly does look new everything on it looks new here's that interstate we were talking about nice cinema across the street nice area here with the fire pits and um grills horseshoe pits there's a guy out in the distance working on the roof of his rv poor guy very well maintained and manicured place it's only 108 out yeah it's only 108 um, here's the office up ahead with the camp store and they have a lot of stuff to meet your camping needs so this is whew, so that's a speed bump. <laughs> a bump this is the whistle stop RV park I'm sorry the whistle stop RV resort part of taco which is the Texas area, the Texas. What, what does the taco stand for? I don't know. We'll put it in above or below or around. Oh, the Texas 
Area Campground Camping. Owner, or Texas, Owners. Texas Association of Campground Owners. There it is. There Taco, it is. The, ta the Texas Association of Campground Owners. There. All right. So. <laughs> we'll talk about it later. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Since I try to give Shelly the not so subtle signal to move it. Y'all come back. Thanks for watching. See ya. You've got three campground reviews in one video. Now that's a bargain. That is a absolute steal of a bargain. Talon, what do you think? Huh? I'm done with the heat. Talon's done with the heat. It is 108 plus whatever the heat index is. So thanks for watching everybody. Uh, we love you. So thanks for watching and paying attention. Rental car. Well, why were we rolling? I was talking. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you um, have, if you've stayed in any of these parks, you got any questions about these parks, just drop us a note in the comments below. Um, we love comments. We read them and respond to all the comments, usually within a day. We're pretty good about that so far. So um, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you later. Have a good one. Bye. See you at the next adventure. Yeah, what she said.